When CATL first unveiled its Naxra sodium ion battery alongside Free Void dual power and Shinching super fast charging batteries during its Super Tech Day on April 21, 2025, many were not prepared. Imagine a battery that works both in freezing winter and hot deserts, yet it won't even catch fire. A battery that passed the nail penetration, the high drilling test, and the sawing test when it's fully charged and the voltage is still stable. CATL confirmed that Naxra has officially entered mass production and is expected to ramp up output reportedly starting as early as June 2025, with full-scale manufacturing underway by late 2025. This battery showed a critical shift away from lithium dependence, which is scarce, to tapping into sodium availability and abundance. That means cheaper raw materials, more stable prices, and less geopolitical risk. In fact, in their recent YouTube video, CATL claimed Naxra passenger EV cells could reach 175 watt-hour per kilogram at approximately 10,000 plus cycles, with minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 70 degrees Celsius operation and a 500 kilometers range. Experts believed with CATL there would be sodium ion market growth, probably under backslash dollar 1.5 billion by 2030. To put this in perspective, Global EV sales in 2024 alone were worth over backslash dollar 500 billion, and they're expected to double by 2030. If sodium ion hits even a fraction of that, say 5 to 10 percent, we're not talking backslash dollar 1.5 billion anymore. We're talking tens of billions. That's the kind of jump Naxra could trigger if it convinces automakers to switch from lithium to sodium at scale. How safe is CATL Naxra? From what was demonstrated on their YouTube video, it's very safe. Their engineers ran it through extreme safety tests. They conducted a multi-axis continuous crush test on it, attacking it from multiple directions. A semi-cylindrical crush plate with a 75 mm radius was used, and they pressed down on the battery along its x-axis until it deformed by about 30%. They also did it on the Z-axis, squeezing it to 15% deformation before moving to the Y-axis for another 30%. Yet, the fully charged battery remained charged after the multi-axis crushing. It's one thing to design a battery that performs well in ideal lab conditions. It's another to make one that can take this kind of abuse and remain safe with no explosion. To ensure it's even safer and reliable. They also ran it through an 8 mm temperature resistance needle, a high-speed drilling test, and a sawing test, yet still no fire. Temperature extremes. Naxra thrives from minus 40 degrees Celsius to plus 70 degrees Celsius. In fact, even at minus 40 degrees Celsius and just 10% charge, it can still deliver 90% of its usable power. It also has 5C super fast charging, adding 520 kilometers in five minutes, a true game changer. CATL's tests show that Naxra's sodium ion chemistry combined with their engineering design offers a level of resilience that could redefine safety expectations in electric vehicles, heavy duty transport, and grid storage. Sodium mining has been less environmentally destructive than lithium or cobalt mining. Sodium is also easier and cheaper to recycle which could make sodium ion greener over its life cycle. CATL can even tap into sodium sources in seawater and mineral deposits like soda, ash locally, and globally. The best part, there would be a massive reduction of carbon footprint compared to lithium-ion EVs. Should the EV market brace for the impact? Definitely. This will disrupt the balance because CATL's 10,000-plus cycle showed that if used daily, the pack could theoretically last 25 plus years, far beyond the typical 8 to 12 year EV lifespan. The crazy part is that the 5C rate, being equal to 520 kilometers in 5 minutes, isn't just faster than Tesla superchargers, but about 8 times quicker than current mainstream EVs. At this rate, it could even completely rewrite winter EV ownership as most lithium-ion EVs lose 20 to 40% range in freezing conditions. CATL's Naxra reportedly keeps 90% usable power at minus 40 degrees Celsius. If Naxra becomes successful, it means more EVs on the road as it will address major concerns on speed, charging, cost, and range. Aside from EVs, 
Natra would be great for various energy storage applications. CATL is also developing Natra batteries for heavy-duty trucks, which would reduce costs compared to lead-acid batteries. And because Natra's cycle life and safety make it perfect for stationary energy storage, it could quietly dominate the grid market before EVs, just like LFB did in China. Whether Natra's sodium ion chemistry can truly stay stable under that condition, and more questions like shouldn't CATL do short-circuiting tests between cells in a bigger pack are being asked. They have seen that the single-cell testing was impressive, but EV batteries operate in a bigger interconnected pack. That means short circuits between cells or in the pack's bus bars can create cascading heat and failure modes. So, CATL has more work to do. Demonstrate what happens when a multi-cell pack is shorted. Yes, Natra is strong for sodium ion, but it's still lower than the best lithium ion or future solid state cells, which could possibly limit ultra long range EVs. Will CATL Naxra be another solid state battery hype? No, CATL Naxra is less likely to be another solid state hype. Solid state batteries promised huge energy density and safety, but didn't push through because they were too expensive, too hard to make, and they don't last in the real world just yet. Unlike CATL's Natra battery, which is already in mass production using cheap and abundant sodium, it even works in extreme temperatures and is now being slotted right into existing lines. Yes, sodium ion batteries generally weigh more than lithium ion for similar energy density because sodium atoms are heavier and larger, but CATL is countering this by optimizing cell to pack integration, reducing structural components and using advanced lightweight materials in vehicle battery housing. This could be the future of EVs. What if LFP and solid-state batteries double down? Yes, the probability of solid-state battery breakthroughs overtaking sodium ion, if they scale faster, is high. The clause is if. It's also worth noting that LFP is already cheap and proven. So, Naxra needs to clearly beat it in cost or performance to convince automakers to switch. Aside from EVs, Naxra is coming for other sectors. Imagine your drone still flying in intense snow, your laptop lasting 20 years without a battery swap, or better, your e-bike charging in minutes with no possible explosion. So even if CATL doesn't eventually make Naxra batteries for EVs, they could reach markets that need safe, cheap, cold-tolerant batteries. What's the way forward? CATL should answer the questions of the batteries being overcharged, let third parties perform tests on multi-pack short-circuiting, and then mass-produce it in the grid sector to scale. But the bigger question is, would you trust a CATL Natra battery? Let us know in the comments section.